Well, thank you very much. I'm going to act as the moderator and my CAO, Gloria Raybone is, is the one um, doing the computer. So good morning, everyone. And thank you all for joining us. We do have some press that are on this Zoom call. Um, I'm, I'm going to, first of all, introduce um, MP Neil Ellis, Member of Parliament for the Bay of Quinney to deliver remarks on behalf of the Government of Canada. Good morning, uh, Your Worship. It's uh, good to be here digitally with everyone. While the challenges of COVID-19 have impacted nearly every aspect of how we live, work and communicate, moments where we get to be di together digitally to celebrate good news is always welcome. Through this whole pandemic, we've been working together to protect individuals, communities and support businesses and local economies. We're making smart investments now so communities can recover and become more resilient in the long term. This is why I'm so pleased to announce more than $1.1 million in federal funding for upgrades to the Tweed Wastewater Lagoon System on behalf of Minister McKenna. Investing in essential services like wastewater infrastructure is key to building resilient communities. The project involves replacing an existing drainage ditch with 1,100 meters of new covered pipe, creating an additional 2.8 he hectares of wastewater storage and upgrading the lagoon's aeration system. These improvements will allow the community to meet current standards for wastewater treatment and increase its capacity to accommodate future growth. The work will also reduce wastewater overflows to help keep waterways clean and protect fish habitats. Since November 2015, the federal government has invested more than $8 billion in over 2,700 infrastructure projects across Ontario to strengthen local economies and improve people's quality of life. The pandemic has given us a heightened awareness of how cr critical it is that we can count on each other look out for each other and protect each other. Your health and safety remains our top priority and we know strong investments in infrastructure will help create jobs, stabilize our economy and build a bright and resilient future for our businesses, families and residents. Thank you. Thank you, MP Alice. Um, and now I would like to call on um, MPP Daryl Cramp, member of Pro Provincial Parliament for Hastings, Lennox and Addington on behalf of Lori Scott, Minister of Infrastructure, to deliver remarks on behalf of the Government of, Can of Ontario. Well, thank you, Joanne, and to your council, of course, and, and Neil, good to see you again, and to our officials, albeit uh, we, we always do like the personal uh, attention and the handshakes and that, as those are a thing of the past for quite a while now, but uh, I'm certainly pleased. This, is, uh, this has been announced a long time coming. I thank uh, Tweet Council for their patience. Uh, I am doing this, but uh, the bottom line is the dollars are here now, the funding are, is here now on behalf of both levels of government. So, so it's teamwork working together and I'm pleased to see uh, it happen. Of course, I'm, uh, I'm pleased to be here today, not only as a representative for the area provincially, but on behalf of my colleague, uh, Lori Scott, the Minister of Infrastructure and the Government of Ontario to announce, uh, of course, our uh, our approval of the green infrastructures to support the residents of Tweedon community from the provincial funding. And of course, we will, in this particular project, we'll be investing up to $940,000 almost $40,000 in the construction of the additional lagoon, which will certainly create more wastewater storage, which is sadly, sadly overdue. Uh, it also upgrades the uh, lagoon's aeration system and allows the community to meet the current standards that for wastewater treatment. And very importantly, of course, uh, we all want to learn live well, want to grow, we all want to build a tax base. And so it will also increase the capacity to accommodate future growth for the community, which is tremendously important. And well, of course, reducing wastewater overflows, helping keep the waterways clean and protecting the habitat for fish, which is great news, of course, for all the people on, on the Stokoe system and the entire Moira system, because of course it, uh, it drains completely from the Northern areas down through into the Bay of Quinty. So wastewater management project like this are vital to community certainly like Tweed, but of course our entire region and across the province. So as we all know, the Investing in Canada Infrastructure Program is providing up to $30 billion in total project funding for the communities across Ontario over the next 10 years. And this does include a provincial $10.2 billion. 
together we are all rebuilding the economy and which is a challenging time for certainly now and it's a real priority to create healthy and safe communities across Ontario through uh, what is really really needed where of course is the federal provincial partnership uh, we have to have the various levels of government working together collaboratively in order to be able to have the success that we have. And so I would certainly like to thank the municipality tweed, Mayor uh, Joanne Albert and your council for your advocacy and your tireless work and your, your patience in, in dealing with this, with this project. And, and Neil, uh, I certainly uh, thank your government for participating as well and being a, and being a partner uh, to these infrastructure projects. Much appreciated. So once again, thank you all. Pleased to be here. Thank you very much, MP, MPP Cramp. Um, this is awesome news. So now it says here on, I'm introduced the, the, the next speaker, which is myself. So <laughs> good morning, everyone. And thank you all for joining us. This is one of the most welcoming infrastructure announcements that I have taken part in as mayor of the municipality of Tweed. And I am really, really excited. And I know my Councillors are really excited about this. Improvements to the Tweed wastewater treatment system have been a priority for this council and the last three councils of the municipality. And I need to thank my fellow and past councillors for their foresight and perseverance in continuing to upgrade the system over the past 10 years or more. And I think it's many more. I've been here for 17 and I think we first began the first upgrade project in 2004. This green infrastructure stream funding is the icing on the cake. The government of Canada is investing over $1.1 million and the province of Ontario is providing 939,466,000. ,000. The municipality is investing $3.3 million in this very worthwhile project. This will allow us to proceed with the expansion and upgrades with less financial burden on our village residents and will greatly benefit all residents across our community. The expansion is a new third cell and the upgrades will include aeration in two cells and an enclosed pipe for discharges. These upgrades will not only improve our capacity issues, but will also have wonderful environmental impacts. The infrastructure project will help stimulate economic growth for our municipality, which will ensure that Tweed is a healthy, productive place to live and work. On behalf of my council and the residents of Tweed, I wish to thank the federal and provincial governments for partnering with us on this vital project. Thank you to MP Neil Ellis, Member of Parliament for the Bay of Quinte, for attending on behalf of the Honourable Catherine McKenna, Minister of Infrastructure and Communities, and MPP Daryl Cramp, Member of Par Provincial Parliament for Hastings, Lennox and Addington, attending on behalf of the Honourable Laurie Scott, Ontario's Minister of Infrastructure for both being here to make this wonderful and much awaited announcement. And I also want to thank former MPs and MPs for all their support. Daryl, I think you've been here since the beginning. So I thank you very much for your continued support. You were here first helping with as an MP <laughs> and now as an MPP. Thank you to our engineers, Greer Galloway, Tony Guerrera, and Steve Blakely for your perseverance with this project. I guess, Tony, the third time's the charm. On behalf of my council and residents of Tweed, I again thank you. This announcement makes it a very Merry Christmas and the happiest of New Year's. So thank you. So now, um, we have a some a moment for some questions or is um is there anyone i'm looking to gloria here who would like to um is there anyone out there who has any questions from the press so right now i only have uh one individual the other ones are having trouble getting connected but hopefully they're able to watch this live on facebook i do have here um 
John Spitters from Quinty Broadcasting and Quinty News, mm -hmm. um, also known as Rock 107 on the screen. I don't know if you have any questions. Good morning, John. Did you have any questions or are we okay? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hello. Oh, loud good. and clear, John. Loud and clear. Great. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I've never been to the Tweed Council Chambers. Now I can say I sort of have. <laughs> It's lovely. You'll have to come north one day. <laughs> I want to. I fall asleep on the drive sometimes. Oh, In any oh, case, no. uh, yeah, you know how it goes. I'm getting older. Um, I'm just wondering when this project uh, would get underway, when people would see some action, and when it would be expected to be completed. Well, we this council has already begun the project. It has started. We and um, hopefully right now, and I'm. Um, we're just waiting for one more thing and then the um, tenders are ready to go out. So we hope to be tendering by the end of this month or the first uh, in the first part of January. So it okay. will start okay. as soon as we can get our shovels in the ground <laughs> come spring, yeah. it will be started. Okay, so the background work basically is ready. The tenders go out, you start yes. in spring, which is perfectly normal. And then how long would the work take? We're hoping that uh, it, we're hoping for this year, but maybe it could be till the next spring, but we're hoping for the end of this year. Right. Okay. So but it de everything, uh, you know, in this world depends on construction and, and getting materials. And um, so our goal, our goal for this council would be the end of this year, but um, definitely um, by next year, when this mandate of this council was to get this project done. We so intended, guess, uh, we intended John, to go ahead with the project, whether we yeah. received the funding or not. And um, so this funding is wonderful news for us. Is there, uh, and there must be, somebody would know, I suppose, in the preliminary work going into this, how many homes businesses might... Um, uh, could you expand the municipality by after this expansion of the sewage treatment plant? Um, 50, 50, it's supposed to add 50% capacity. So we do have our contractor or, who has been helping us, Tony Greer from Greer Galloway. If you'd like, he could answer that. Tony, question. can you answer that question? I, that's correct. It's about a 50% expansion. So, uh, so I'm not, I don't know if we can. Some of that, to, to be honest, is for the handle current. Yeah. You know, 1,000 residents to Tweed, or that's not how you it think. It would be approximately 400 homes. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that would be, uh, you know, over 1,000 people, likely. Uh, so that's good. Uh, yes. And that sort of brings it home in a, in a way that people can understand. Yes. About 400 homes. Well, that's a big expansion in Tweed. Yeah, that's it for would sure. be. Yes, it would be. And there's been a lot of interest then, uh, Mayor Albert, in Tweed, like you developers sniffing around on a regular basis? We have had developers in that we've had definitely had to say, um, no, we don't have the capacity right yet to issue you all the um, the lots that you would like but um, we now hope that they will be coming back to us as soon as they hear this announcement and say they are ready to go because we do have some we have had um, some developers already talking to us about and we've just had to hold until um, we could get this third cell the expansion of for the third cell right and that must have been frustrating for for local politicians etc to be have to say that we can't take it, you it is very frustrating so this is why this news is such so exciting as i said this will be the first time in um 17 or no how many years mayor 14 years as mayor that um i won't have to put in my new year's update the goal of um, <laughs> hoping to get the Tweed Lagoon system upgraded. So I'm so happy. I won't have to say it anymore. 
Well, it will be. It will be. It will be now. Say upgrades to the Tweed Lagoon. So that is so we can for expansion, for the capacity issue. The MOE has worked very closely with us too. I guess I should have probably thanked the Ministry of Environment and Conservation and Parks, but um, they have worked closely with us since 2006. So, and have been fully supportive and hoping for this project. So I'm sure they're going to be very happy to um, Mr. Cramp. <laughs> So, All right. Well, thanks very much. I don't have any more questions. Thank you uh, for the time. Okay. Thank you, John. You take so care, if John. that anyone else wish to say anything before I close it and well, Merry thank, Christmas, Merry, Merry Christmas <laughs> to all and a very happy new year to you, Daryl, and to you, Neil, to all your families. So thank you very much. This is definitely a wonderful Christmas present for Tweed. Thank you. Have a good Christmas, Neil. Merry Christmas. Happy to Tony, Thank you. Council, enjoy Thank all. You Thank much. you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay.